Hi, this is Andrew with Domain Name Wire, and today we're going to take a look at what's happening with who is now that GDPR is in effect. We're going to look at both a port 43 lookup using domain tools, and then I'm also going to show you what GoDaddy is doing with their who is if you do a web based lookup on their site. So let's get started by going over to domain tools. All right, we will start by doing a domain tools port 43 lookup. So let's go to domain tools.com and I'll type in one of my domain names here. And you will see what comes up when someone does a port 43 lookup. So if you aren't familiar with port 43, think of this as the automated means that, uh, think of it kind of like an API to pull records in bulk of who is records. And so this is what companies like domain tools use to get access to GoDaddy's who is records and other registrars. So I'm not logged in here, so I'm going to have to pass the CAPTCHA. And now you'll see what you get with this. So we have the domain name, registrar information, but instead of the contacts, my contacts, you have a registrant organization, registrant state and province, and a registrant country. And because I register my domain names under a company name, you do see that company name here, Texas, United States. That's all you get. If this was registered to someone that didn't have a company name, there would be nothing here for registrant organization. You also, of course, get the technical details when it comes to name servers, and that's it. So fairly limited. So now let's go over to GoDaddy, and we will do a Whois lookup on the website. So if we scroll down here, Whois will be on the bottom. And GoDaddy's doing something different from other registrars. A lot of registrars aren't showing you any more data in their web-based lookup than they are with their port 43 lookup. And they don't have to, according to the temporary specification that ICANN put out. But GoDaddy's taken a different approach, which is good news for most of us, in that you can still see the full who is if you do a web-based lookup. Of course, they're going to capture this and do rate limiting to limit you and limit this from falling in the hands of automated bots. In fact, uh, GoDaddy's been limiting its port 43 lookup for a long time, almost all this year, to prevent spammers from getting the information. So here you'll see the full Whois lookup, and it's basically what you had before on a web-based lookup. You can see all the information from the uh, registrant name, phone number, email address, basically everything is there for people to see. So that's where we are on who is right now. Of course, ICANN's going to have to put together a final specification for who is, so there could be some changes here depending on what the courts rule and how registrars work and, and registries, I should mention, work with ICANN to resolve this. Thanks for listening and be sure to take a look at DomainNameWire.com.